Ironic, Ronic, 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 Ronic. Ironic, Ronic, 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 Ronic. What is going on? We are back in it again, back on Twitch. Another set of gameplays here in the United Sim Football Association. You, you know how we do. The games keep rocking and rolling. We are approaching the midway point of week 11. The playoffs are coming soon within the next month or so. So make sure you watch out for that. Our last few times here on Madden 22. Can't wait to see what 24 has to hold for us. It's going to be interesting to see. You know how we do. The games keep rocking and rolling. And we're going to go ahead and set this game up here. It's going to be a West Coast matchup. Anchorage and Detroit will be the two teams that we will see here tonight. And these two teams have yet to play this season. Both of them have had a very, very strong campaign to say that these two teams have to make the playoffs. But this could be a wild card preview here. You never know. Um, as we see Anchorage and Detroit having some really good football on both sides. Can't wait to see how these two teams play. And I got everything rolling on my end. I know I'm started a little late. I had got home a little bit late, seeing some people. But regardless of that, let's go ahead and hit it. Let's get this thing rolling. Looks like Detroit will kick this one off. And we are underway as it's going to be a return here, taking it past the 35 yard. Sorry. Pass the 15 to about the 20, make it the 21. Let's go ahead and get into it, folks. Best of luck to both of these teams as I'm doing a couple adjustments on my side. Let's get into it. Anchorage starting out with the football, going to fake the handoff here. Looking for a man is smoke and going to throw it in some coverage. And that didn't look very pretty to start out the game, but it's going to be second and 10 coming.
Make sure you get in the giveaway if you haven't already. Exclamation point USFA. You know how we do things here. As Anchorage looking to get it popping, looking for a pass here. Throws a short to tight end. Ty White pushing forward and going to rumble close to the 30. Going to pick up eight on that play. Third and two coming up. Yeah, last couple of times going to see these juniors for sure. Been cooking in the lab there for Anchorage for their new look going into season 12. And honestly, um, they love what I, what I proposed to them. I did some tweaks there for the away jersey that I think uh, Wolf Gold's going to love is that pass is going to be something that Wolf Gold is going to love. It's going to keep the drive alive here for Anchorage. First and 10 to the 35 yard line, they go. As they're going to give it to Kaiju, turning it up and rumbling to about the 40, picking up five. Yeah, I can't wait to see either. And taking some more screenshots a little bit later. I've been trying out Madden 25. Um, I actually started working on like the team builder just to see how it is. Can you believe that they only have six fields to choose from? This is EA we're talking about now. Like they're always shortening people. How are you going to have only six fields? That makes no sense. There's going to be a pass here, and he's going to go ahead and launch this one deep to the right side and almost picked off. And there goes Mikey Jackson there in coverage. And it's going to be third and medium coming up. You know how to make sure I don't get cut off mid sentence by the meds. You know, you got to get that sub, my man. If we get some uh, happy people to gift some, hopefully you get to choosing. You know what I'm saying? Is we're going to see another pass, going to launch this left side and going to be caught in another third down conversion here by Anchorage. Jamar Carr coming through one of the top receivers here in Anchorage. Honestly, they have a really good core with Sean Justice, Jamar Carr, Chach Menino, uh, the big homie uh, Keith Simmons. I like what I'm seeing from Anchorage overall, and they're looking to try to put this one into the end zone here as we're going to hand this one off, gets past the 40. There goes Kaiju picking up another gain of five. Second to medium coming up. Shotgun set here for smoke. I'm going to fake the handoff here. Calvin Thomas wants a sack. Not going to get one. There goes a pass. And there it goes. Sean Justice inside the 25. Anchorage goes looking real nice so far here tonight. As they're going to inch closer to the red zone. Mike Jack up in here. He had a pass deflection earlier. Should have been a pick. Cal Wu up in here. What's happening right on time to Detroit. Representation is in the building. Anchorage on the move, faking the handoff here, looking for a man. Going to go short with it. There goes Carr for another first down play, and that'll put him inside the 10. Anchorage moving the ball swiftly inside the 10 yard line to mark him at the nine. Good news on the slider front. I think I'm inching closer to that proper slider set for the league. As we're going to see a quick pitch left side and caught. There goes Kaiju going to get the touchdown. And Kaiju getting the touchdown from his uh, quarterback there from college, making it happen in the pros. And that's just a beautiful route combo. Kamikaze Vondu was trying to reach out, but was running into his own defen uh, defensive players. And that's all she wrote there. Anchorage will put the first points on the board. Kick is going to be up and good. A 10 play 80 yard drive lasting almost five minutes. You can't be mad at that. A lot of conversions on third down as well. And we'll see Detroit come onto the field for the first time. Let's see how they work this set. 
Anchorage honestly has been massively improved since they traded for cornerback X Pac from Huntington Beach. We'll see their secondary go up against one of the top wide receiver cores with Sean McGowan and Uncle Swoosh leading the way. Don't forget Montezuma Popoco. And they're also going up against a former uh, United Bowl champion, a quarterback, Action Jackson Jr., who's looking to get back into the playoffs, wants another ring, wants to be one of the few quarterbacks in USFA history to win a title with two different teams or two or more different teams. As of now, the only one that I could recall is going to be Caitlin. I mean, sorry, not Caitlin, Rebecca Montaigne. And Detroit's looking to make something happen here. First and 10 here for the Hellhounds. Hand off, pushing forward. There goes Samari Jones rumbling for about nine and some change. Second and one coming up. Starting out on the ground, can't be mad at it. Hand off, pushing four, cutting back, getting the first down play. Keeping it on Tamari Jones' hand. Making it happen. First first down here for Detroit. Looking to move down the field already at the 40. And up and there goes Entropy Squinton. He's going to rumble forward for about seven. So far, the ground game percolating here for Detroit. Anchor's going to need to try to slow that down. Ended up buying a new controller. So, going to be working two controllers for uh, Madden 24. So, I'll have one on the away team, one the home team. As we're going to see another handoff and another first down play. There goes Quentin for his second carry, and he's over 10 yards. So far, no passes here for Detroit. The ground game work. Didn't really need the controller. It's more of a quality of life thing for me. First and 10 coming. Gonna be handing this one off. Looking for a crease, but not gonna find one. There goes the tackle. I believe that's the Marcus Freeman there with the tackle. Yes, it is. The road to the championship game has to go through the one of these teams is Quentin's going to find a big hole going to push forward for a first down play gets inside the 35 and it's going to be first and 10 again here for Detroit. Kyle said it should have took that one to the outside towards the sidelines. Would have had a deeper play, potentially a touchdown. He's going to see a pass here again. Going to go short with it. Caught by Swoosh. First pass of the day is a good one for six. And they are in field goal range as of right now, but they're looking for more than just that. Garrett Evans there with the tackle. Passing it here, looking for a man. Goes middle of the field and gonna be caught. And there goes the, the running mate at wide receiver, Sean McGowan, taking them to the 11 yard line. Both defenses getting worked up to this point in the game. We'll see if they make some adjustments, but regardless of that, another great play here for Detroit. Shotgun here. 
Going to pass it again, looking quickly, and that's well defense threat. Well, that's a well defensive play there by Anchorage. Honestly, could have been called interference either way. They both were kind of jockeying for position, but the referees let that one play out. They'll definitely contact before the ball got home. You know what I'm saying? Passing it again goes left side. Gonna be caught. Gonna be shy of the first down mark. They're gonna say third and inches coming up here for Detroit. John McGowan with another catch. Very fun matchups between these uh, defensive backs and uh, wide receivers on this side of the field. You got McGowan in the swoosh versus X Pac and Montaigne. A lot of experience on both sides. We're going to see a handoff, and he's going to get blown up. There goes Azriel Watkins there in the backfield, and that's going to be fourth and one. Will Detroit go for it? And looks like they're going empty set for this one. Going to pass it, looking left side, and going to be wide open. It's Big Sean. Touchdown, Detroit. And the aggressiveness pays off here in the late portion of the first quarter. An extra point away from putting us to a new ball game. Kick is up and it will be good. And they match a 10 play drive with a 12 play drive that lasted well over six minutes. So both teams finding their way down the field. Now it's up to the defensive coordinators and everything to make their adjustments and see if they can get a stop, put their offense back onto the field. We'll see smoke coming back on with their offense. Hurts up in here, what's happening? Five entries here tonight. this one away going to be returned taking a pass to 20 to about the 21 yard line Phyllis Skrilla up in here what's happening big homie just missed your touchdown threw a touchdown to Sean McGowan it's going to be first and 10 here for Anchorage oh you see no okay good 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 Because it's going to be Smoke Rivers, the rookie quarterback. He's going to pass it from here. Looking for a man to throw to. Just throws it to Sean Justice. Who gets it to the 28-yard line. Picking up eight. The second catch of the game. Having this career high in touchdowns. He wants, a, wants another one tonight. Oh, Bankridge get on top. It's going to be a fun game to watch in the playoffs if this is the case. But... Dallas says one of these teams has got to have to go. I, I need to get up in there. So going to be second and two coming to handoff, cutting up, going to try to get it. And he's going to get thrown down by the face mask. Tank Falco Jr. is going to have to give him some extra yards here. Take it to the 46. And Anchorage is moving the ball a little bit further up. First and 10, and off, pushing forward, some decent blocking to give him about three. Second and seven coming up. That is going to be the end of quarter number one. Let's go ahead and get into it. Book the fields, pistol formation, throw your twos up. Got ourselves a great game tonight. Let's do it. It's going to fake the handoff and it's going to be hit as he throws, launching it to the outside, trying to hit Keith Simmons, but 
the pressure getting to smoke on that one. It's going to be third and seven coming. Oh, like Calvin Thomas was kind of closed in from the other side, but a great defensive play there for Detroit. And here comes Anchorage. And then they send the blitz, they don't get home, but they're gonna throw it straight to a defensive player that's picked off, and it's gonna be number nine. Is that gonna be AJ Frost or is it Justin Brown? It's the rookie Brown, and they're gonna take it to the 22. And Detroit's in business. I keep getting Frost and Brown confused because the numbers are right next to each other. We're gonna see a handoff, and there goes Samari, who's gonna fall for the first down, but it's not gonna matter. There goes the left guard with the hole back him up a little bit. And they're going to keep it on the ground, see if they can get something in. A great fight by Quint to give them five yards. And it's going to be second and 13. Jack James coming up in the chat. What's happening? Trying to get in that giveaway. I see you, big homie. Second and 13 coming up. Gonna fake the handoff here. Tyree Rose trying to get home. Gonna throw with the wide receiver screen, and that's not gonna cut it. That's gonna be third and 14 coming up. Uncle Swoosh. Not getting too much on that play. I'm trying to get those cap boosts. I feel it. I ain't mad at you. Pass this one left side and caught. That's not going to be enough for the first down. But Detroit's still in play to get some points here by way of field goal. And we'll see what Javon Gusto can do. Can't say it's not home cooking because we're at Detroit for this ball game. And we're going to see the kick by Gusto knocking it through pretty easily. And off the interception, Detroit gets three. So if you want to say it, Anchorage's defense held them to three. Detroit's defense got a turnover. So maybe that's the setup as we're seeing. Uh, cap boosts don't immediately give you one. Yeah, it just boosts the max you could get. So you'll still have to upgrade the cap. Just like uh, with Vic Dotson, he got the plus three in speed, but only have two in, um, that upgraded. I'm going to have that upgraded uh, by the end of or about the beginning of next season so I can get that uh, 94 speed there for Vic Dotson. It's going to be sweet. Um, I'm going to see 10 to 7 is the score. Anchorage coming back onto the field pretty soon off the interception. So far, the biggest game of Smoke River's career is right now where they could help get closer to solidifying his first ever playoff spot in USFA history. But we'll see what they could do on drive number three. Making the handoff, they send the blitz. The blocking is perfect. Pass up the middle is caught. And there goes Jamar Carr with another first down play. Taking it to the 39 yard line. And it's going to be first and 10 here for Anchorage. Definitely a good start off the INT. Sometimes you just got to throw it, get that out of the way. Missed tackle there by Reese. But it's going to be smoking the game. Trying to get up the field more. Who's hyped for that drip for 24 is going to be a pretty sweet setup as we're going to see a pass mill the field and he misses the man wide open there. Second down coming up. I can't wait to see how everyone stands out from the crowd, you know. Yeah, smoke definitely has to settle in as that 
probably should have been an offsides, but not to be, as he's going to go ahead and launch a left side, and there goes a the catch, and there goes Keith Simmons blocking perfect there on that foot. It's going to be first and 10 coming up. Going to give it to the big home and rumble forward. There goes Kaiju picking up about two or three. Taking it inside the 45 yard line. Second and seven coming up here. We're going to fake the handoff. They send a blitz. It doesn't get home. No, the field is wide open. There goes Ty White inside the 15 to the 11. That's what happens if you don't get home on the blitz. There's normally someone open there. As that is just beautiful blocking up front there from this Anchorage offensive line. And it's going to be first and 10 again, trying to make up for that INT. Shotgun set. Passing it again, looking, mill the field, and once again, that's a touchdown right there to Justice that he missed. Got a hit on those. Second and 10 coming. That was easy touchdown right there, not to beat. Maybe got confused on which one to throw it to because it looked like they had two open in that same area. It was like, hopefully one of y'all can catch up to it. You know, going to quick pitch it right side of caught. Rumbling forward, and Keith Simmons going to take it through three defenders. Touchdown, Anchorage. And that's how you match up after throwing a pick. You throw a touchdown. That was over the head of Mikey there. Two touchdowns, one interception so far on the evening. Therefore, the big home is Smoke Rivers. The two lane product showing his medal here. Getting Anchorage to lead right back. I don't even think I ever realized how tall our kicker is. Yeah, he's like six seven. <laughs> I think he's like six seven, like two twenty, something like that. He's a big boy, but that's why his name Firestarter Prodigy always come up for the success plays. You know what I'm saying? Can't wait to see the new Anchorage uh, uniforms. Um, I'm gonna. Mm, should I work the home ones? I might put a little bit of a touch on the on the home jersey just to mix it up but honestly i like the i think you agree you like the just all blue on the uh on the shoulders and everything like for the for the specs and everything um but i was thinking about throwing like some white in there too like just to like mix it up like snow and nice type of thing you know what i'm saying I'll, I'll i'll show you what i mean when i get in the lab tonight yeah the all blue is tough though. you're right about that thank you so much uh, Jax James there for the biddies as we're going to see a handoff and Tamari Jones just stood up one player. He was like, man, get up off because it's going to be second and inches here for Detroit. Fake the handoff here, launching this right side and caught in traffic. Doesn't matter. And there goes Montezuma Popoco. Is that on the team? No, no, I seen the wrong number. My bad. That is going to be number 81. Oh, it is. I, I thought he was 11 for a second. Yeah, I forgot. He was 11 for Charlotte, but he moved to 81 when he moved to Detroit. So, going to be a fun side to see. Great job there from the firmer, former number one overall draft pick. As we're going to see a delayed handoff and Anchorage is right there, but not right there. And what just happened? Did he just get touched down? 
did the referees not come call them down I think they just did someone clip that I need to see that again what was that he had a full lane of steam ahead I don't know we have to see the replay as we're gonna see a handoff push it forward throws it short is gonna be caught and he's gonna get the first down anyway so I guess it worked out to his favor but he probably could have had an even bigger gain on that carry. He had a lot of room to run. The referees called him dead, but Mario Jones says, I don't care. I'm still going to get mine. It's running straight through Demarcus Freeman. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure about that one. i never seen that before, folks. It's going to be first and 10, faking the handoff here. They're sending the corner blitz. It doesn't get home, and the pass is off the mark, well off the mark. There by action. It's going to be second and 10. Yeah, I got to see that one. Can I? Can I clip? Can I watch it real quick? Former number one overall draft pick. As we're going to see a delayed handoff and Anchorage is right there, but not right I there. I don't see and anything. What just happened? I'm not sure what that's from. As that's going to be a flag there on the play and it's a face mask. So I guess it all worked out to their favor. That's going to put. Detroit inside Anchorage territory. I, I rewatched it again. Like, I don't see how he was down. <laughs> he wasn't even touched. <laughs> like, I don't know, bro. But regardless of that, that's going to move Detroit closer to where they need to be. Tamari Jones is back there. And they're going to go with the fake. Shane Knox trying to get home and he's going to go and launch this deep to the middle of the field and going to be incomplete as Caitlin Montaigne is in her bag on that play. Second and 10. I got to see it again. Former number one. Over Let me mute it. Mm, I don't know about touchdown. Potentially. Yeah, after that block, yeah, it looked like he got set up there. Yeah, that, that probably would have been a touchdown. Yeah, you're right. But it is crazy. It's going to be third and nine coming up. Like, I just rewatched it again just to check. And yeah, I don't see nothing to make me think that he was down. I think the referees is on something tonight. A lot of penalties. After that one, I said that could have went either way. Like, They've been calling them a lot. He said, man, 24 can't get here soon enough, but that's going to be another first down. There goes Tamari Jones out the backfield. Now we put him inside the 30. Steel pads, a.k.a. Miss Davis. How you doing, Hope? Mrs. Davis? Hope all is well with you. Thanks so much for stopping by. It's going to be first and 10 here for Detroit. And Huntington Beach should be watching these teams as well. Um, these are two quality uh, playoff caliber teams matching up against each other got to watch every chance you get is we're going to see a big handoff and there goes intro beast Quentin. he says i got your back tamari jones they ain't gonna call me down i'm gonna make it happen i mean technically you didn't um you wasn't really watching out for anchorage when they beat y'all either so i get it um as we're gonna see the Kick up, kick is gonna be good. 17 to 14 coming up. Anybody wanna join me in the in the voice chat later on? Might do some modding with y'all. Don't get your hopes up. None of these games are made for simming, so there will always be problems. Just gotta deal with it and move on. You, you're not wrong. You're not wrong about that. We're, we're making something out of nothing if we're all being, uh, <laughs> if we're all being real with each other, right? So I'll probably do a little modding for 24. Um, I still got to get the modding stuff over to Caboose now that he's in a much better space. Um, so we can get to cooking because one of the main things I know I need changed is the team names. So we can get that changed for like when the team score touchdowns and such like that. 
and my thought process is for games that are on YouTube, um, they're going to be doing the quick presentation and then the streamy type games like on Switch and YouTube Live if I was to go back, which I probably will. Um, I'm going to have those set up on the exhibition so we get a little cutscene action, you know what I'm saying? A little bit longer, a little bit more time to get more viewers, you know what I'm saying? So, um, time wise, uh, the time will still be the same for what I'm seeing 12 minute quarters. I've thought about moving to 13. Um, I thought about moving to 13, but it's still just a tad too long. Um, as we're going to see two minute warning coming up. I mean, it's only like an extra like five to 10 minutes. It's not like the cutscenes are like completely like game breaking. And it still has the, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? The accelerated clock on. So you're still gonna get the games by pretty quickly. And for the most part, not too much is different in regards to time frame. I think I'm closer on the, I'm closer on the, what's I'm looking for? Um, Sliders, I'm closer on the sliders. No, it ain't going away to no five minutes. No, it, it ain't like that. I wouldn't have considered it if it was that, long, you know. Um, yeah, as we see second and ten coming up here for Anchorage, they're moving the ball. They're trying to get something cooking here. It's gonna be a fake of the handoff, and it's gonna be a sack. And there goes the C83 playing the guitar on your broke self. Third and 17 coming up. DC Comics is going to see a handoff, and there goes on the other side. It's going to be the big homie, Calvin Thomas, to slow him down. And Anchorage is going to have to punt it back to Detroit. Because they're going to get another look there on the Detroit sack there by Damian Chambers. I did get the stats up to week 10. So after the games are over this week, I'll go ahead and get started on week 11. So we're all caught up if you haven't noticed. As we're gonna see that one bounce into the end. So I did them all today, this morning. The defense went 83, yeah. There's a lot of weird numbers everywhere. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Like there's a, we got kickers that's wearing 27. Uh, we got one that's wearing 96. Um, just weird. <laughs> As we're going to see a pass here again, looking for a man stepping back, throws it and almost throws it straight to a defensive player. That's going to be second to 10. That could have been Anchorage's get back. It's going to be second down. Look like the pressure was starting to get to him a little bit. Passes off the mark. I don't think that was X Pac. I didn't see the dreads. I think Cena. I think that was Marcus Elliott or something. Like that. Um, looking for a man quickly left side and caught first down play, and there goes Montezuma. And we'll see if Detroit calls a timeout. We'll go ahead and call it right there. Got ourselves a good game here tonight, folks. Make sure you like and subscribe if you're on YouTube watching this on the playback. Don't forget to ring the bell. So whenever we do post, you know that we got games rolling on. I do have a way to do giveaways on YouTube now that I'm going to reveal in the off season. I got to fix up how to actually do it. So um, make sure you watch out for that. Going to be sweet because we're going to see a pass here. Look for man. Going to run out of time and going to get sacked. It's going to be Shane Knox, and I believe he's got eight and a half after that one. Second and 22 coming up. That boy did a little baby hop right there. You seen that? He said, hey, do you? And then get your sorry self down. That's what he said, not me. I'm just repeating what the people say on the field. You know what I'm saying? Is they're going to try a handoff, try to bounce it to the outside. Breaks, well, almost broke one tackle, and that is going to be the end of the second quarter as we go ahead 
and move into the second half. Yeah, Shane has been uh, stepping it up for sure. Looking a little bit like his Charlotte self that's been getting double digit sacks. He has a chance to get it this season, so doing very well as we're going to see the return there by Detroit. And there is a flag, so they'll start inside the 20 at the 16 to be exact. Trevor Halifax there with the hole. A penalty so far here for Detroit. We'll see if that does them over, does them under, I guess. As we're going to see a handoff here, pushing forward and finding a big hole, and there goes Samari Jones for a first down play, immediately getting those penalty yards right back, and they'll get a first down on top of it. It's like that hole never happened. It's going to be first and 10 coming up. You could say, well, they could have been inside outside of the 30, but. Can't guarantee that, you know what I'm saying? You don't know what play would have been called if they didn't have a hold, you know what I'm saying? So, gotta think introspectively. We're gonna see another handoff, and number 77 says no to that play as he picks up only one. Introduce Quentin already with the touchdown on the game. He says he wants to do it again. I think my biggest issue at the current moment, but mostly it's just me not paying attention when it comes to the modding process for 24 is making sure that the accessory colors are right because I've been flipping jerseys. Some of the jerseys for the teams that they start with don't have the right colors for their uh, name and number. So I got to do more research on that. And some of the jerseys that were available in 22 are not available in 24 on play now mode. So I've got to get a little bit more creative. Uh, for example, Huntington Beach is a uh, Huntington Beaches and Tacoma's uh, alternate jerseys. It's hard to find them a white set for both of them. So they have white jersey numbers and jersey names. Uh, but I'm going to keep on digging for that. I do have their jerseys in the game. Though I just got to find the right number set for them. You know what I'm saying? As we're going to see first and 10 coming up here for Detroit. Um, outside of that, everything is looking fairly status quo. Um, I'm still working on the fields. Um, in regards to the stadiums, getting the pads, not the pads, the uh, stadium jumbotrons off. Um, trying to work that in our favor, you know what I'm saying? It's going to be second and four coming. See, I want to shut them off completely. That's what I want to do. Like, like have them there, but just like shut them off, nothing come up on them, but. That hasn't really been working, so I'm gonna see if I can find a way to get them turned off. This is gonna be another first down play. And yes, Detroit's playing some very uh legacy type of football here. Ground and pound. Uh what's the what's the um, term that they used used to use back in the day? Not thumper, but um not um what's the word I forgot what it's called. Um I forgot what it's called, it's, but I think y'all know what I'm talking about. It's like a term for like mostly a run game type of offense. Um, I'm going to think about it. Yeah, bully ball, uh, that, that is a term, but it's mostly used for basketball. It's, it's specifically for football that they use for like a heavy run game. It's going to be handoff, and he's going to get maybe a short game. It's going to be third and four. Boring ball. I mean, you can call it boring. I actually like it, especially if it's effective, getting those four or five yards of carry type modes. I will say for Madden 24, if you don't have a good halfback, you're going to have a bad time. I'll just say that up. Okay. We're going to see a pass to the right side, and that's not going to help out Detroit's pursuit. It's going to set up fourth and four, and they could kick the field goal from here. It'll be a short 50. Yeah, smash mouth. There you go. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of. Smash mouth. Fifty-one yard field goal here for Detroit. I think it's going to be up from Goose, though. It looks kind of crazy, and it is kind of crazy. 
Anchorage holds them to zero points and they got the ball close to midfield. It's up to them to turn over. It doesn't focus more on the run. It's going to be more passes than run in most cases, depending on how you build your playbook. But they will try at the very least. A little bit different than on here. Like most of the base playbooks, they have like a lot of passing heavy concepts. As we're going to see a big carry there by Kaiju for a first down play. But I'll, I'll say it's more of a pass balanced type of thing as opposed to pass heavy in 24 so well pass heavy in 22 as opposed to like pass balance in 24. and honestly the ground game is actually very fun especially if you have a scrambling type of quarterback um if you have like a Jax james or a james west or a dane jones those type of guys if you incorporate like a spread type of offense i'll let you know right now that the read option is a fun play to a fun play to run um, in Madden 24. And you don't get those like weird glitchy like cuts up the field. Like, you know, when a wide receiver is like catching it towards the sideline, then they do like a weird cut to try to go up instead of curving. Like they actually curve up the field a lot more as we'll see another first down play coming up here for Anchorage. And now they're inside field goal territory. First and 10 coming in and this one off pushing forward and going to get to the 26 yard. Line. Now, what I can do, what I was also thinking of is putting all of the jerseys that we've used in the Madden sets for all the teams. So like all the jerseys from season seven onward <laughs> and then like just have like legacy jerseys where people could choose and stuff like that and play in those. Even though some of them were like remakes of NFL jerseys, but we're not going to talk about that as it looks like Smoke's going to launch it end zone, going to be almost picked off, and that's going to make it third and five. Making the handoff here, looking to launch it, throwing the left side and a dot. Oh my goodness, Damian Chambers in the face of smoke. He says there's still no fire there. Jamar Carr holds it in, and it's gonna be a touchdown for Anchorage. A beautiful pass there by smoke. Kick is up in golden, and just like that, Anchorage is back on top. Wow. If that isn't worthy of a clip, I don't know what is. That action may have him beat there. Talking about smoke is the most bipolar dude in the league. <laughs> it's going to see the return taking the pass to 20. There it goes off the swoosh rumbling and going to fight for another four or five yards or so down to the 26 yard line. And it's going to be first and 10 here for Detroit looking to get that lead right back. Rumble forward to about the 29-yard line, and it's going to be second and seven coming. 
Uh, like Jack said, we always want to let the other team score before we start scoring, man. Well, this is a great tune-up game for sure because you are, as you know, these two teams will meet again, and chances are they might meet for a third time. But next time we'll meet, these two teams will meet will be in Anchorage on the last week of the season as we see a short carry there by Quentin. There's going to be third and six coming up. I'd like to be sacked before we score at least twice on the drive. I felt that as Anchorage sends the blitz and it doesn't get home. And there goes Sean McGowan getting him out of a little bit of a baby situation. It's going to be first and 10 at the 43 yard line, getting close to midfield. Faker the handoff here off the play fake looking for a middle of the field gonna be almost picked off and X-Pac uh, Head Darian and Kate LaMontagne all in that area. It's gonna be second and ten Second down coming, faking the handoff again. Is he going to launch it? Trying to get away, and there's going to be a sack. There goes Shane Knox again, and he's in the nine sack club on the season off of that one. Third and 19 coming, and it was just like that. Uh, Mike Jack, you was talking about I like to get sacked before, um, before we score at least twice on the drive. <laughs> and I can assure you that uh, Madden 24 doesn't have that. It's actually pretty decent in the pocket. Looking for a man again. Shane is trying to get there, but not to be trying to get as much as he can and going to get taken down at the 46 yard line and it's going to make it fourth and seven. And Troy's going to have to punt it back to Anchorage. Javon Gusto sending this one to the right side. Looks like it's going out of bounds inside the 10. They'll mark it at the 7. And Anchorage is going to have to drive the deep to get some points. Keith and Jamar already scored. I want my teddy now is what uh, Sean Justice says, but They'll have to go half a distance to the goal after that one. It's going to be first and 14 now here for Anchorage. Got the giveaway coming up, stretching this right side and going nowhere but backwards down to the two. And that is how the third quarter is going to end after that play. Flip the fields, throw your fours up in the chat, and I'll get to the giveaway spin in just a little bit as we're going to see a fake of the handoff. Smoke Rivers goes short, going to cut up, run straight through Mikey Jackson, gets to the nine yard line, but he did his job to make sure he doesn't get the first. And Detroit should have some really good field position after this week. Jack on set. Third and eight. Oh, yeah. I thought it was fourth down for a second as he's going to turn up and throw on the run. It finds a wide open tie white inside the. 35 or outside the 35 to the 40. My bad. He said, don't clip that. I'm not going to clip it. I don't know about anybody else, though. As it looks like the prize is going to be 10 TPE. And we'll go ahead and draw from the nine entries. 
It is going to go to wide receiver Sean Justice there from Anchorage. So he's going to get 10 PP today. Congratulations there. Look for a pass again. There's a flag. He's going to turn away from the pressure and then throws it away. But it's going to go backwards. There was a hold there on the right side. Ty White there. And it's going to make it first and 20. And I'll go ahead and post that so I don't forget. You know what I'm saying? Because I've been very forgetful this season. Pass it here first inch one quick pitch left side of caught. There goes Jamar caught. Now to the 38 yard line, second and 13. Second down here. Going to fake the handoff. Blocking once again, perfect pass to the right side, caught, rumbling forward, getting more than what he needs, getting to the 45 yard line is Jamar Carr having himself a day and it's first and 10 coming up. Once again, the box is just immaculate right here for Anchorage, picking up on all the blitzes. Seven catches, 101 yards and a touchdown. Can't be mad at it. Quick pitch left side and some coverage, and that was almost picked off. Reese Rockefeller almost had himself another one. Going to be second and 10. Is that smoke? Please chill with these throws. <laughs> I was going to see a pass here. And it's going to be DC Comics making the second sack, shooting a free throw. He said he knocked it down. It's going to be third and 20 coming. And he turned right into that one. Now it's third and 20. He's going to fake the handoff here, looking for a man, launching this middle of the field. It's going to be caught, but he's going to be short of the first down mark. They're going to mark him down at the 39-yard line, and it's going to be fourth and four coming up. A kick from here will be around a 56-yarder. Uh, they could try it if they're really feeling it. Uh, but they look like they're going to go for the punt. They don't want to give Detroit any chance to move down the field pretty easily is going to see this one go to the right side and they're looking to pin and it looks like they will they'll get him at the nine yard line and it's going to be first and 10 Detroit's going to have to drive the length of the field in these eight minutes or so and they need a touchdown as Reese Rockefeller and I believe is that that's not Caitlin Montana that's not 27 that's someone else um jockey for position you see him right there Action is going to need to move the ball down the field. Quick pitch left side and going to be dropped down. Second and five coming up. What they don't know is action always goes dumb from this far in the fourth. That's what uh, Mike Jack up in the chat said. And I'd have to agree with him. He's always had that clutch team for as long as I've known him. Whenever it's time to put up or shut up, he's had some really good plays. As we're going to see Shane Knox almost get home, but they didn't get home quick enough. There goes Entrevis Quentin getting past the 25, and it's going to be first and 10 coming up. For all the flaws that comes through Madden 22, when the game runs and actually shows a really good game, it's actually fun to watch, my personal opinion. First and 10 coming. Going to look left side, and that passes off the mark there by action. It's going to be second and 10 coming.
Passing it here, looking, and they're going to get home again. He fumbles the football and recovered by Anchorage. Watkins rumbling to the 15, and the defense responds. El Jefe the Goat punching it out, and it's going to be first and 10 coming up. The rookie shows off here in the fourth, and they got a chance to extend the lead more. Looking middle of the field and caught, or to the right side a little bit. It's going to be a gain of nine. There by the big homie Keith Simmons. As the offensive line did not give action ample enough time to decide for where to go with the football, and the defensive line gets home here for Anchorage. Second and one coming, short drop back, passing again. Goes left side and gonna be wide open. Justice said, let me get one, two. And they're gonna make it a two score ball game. Anchorage on top again. And that's touchdown number 10 on the season. There by Justice. And now make it an 11 point affair. Detroit's still in play here. They just need to score pretty quickly. I say they have to score within the next two minutes and 50 seconds give themselves a chance to get the ball back and then do it again still doable we've seen it happen a few times in the last couple of seasons or so so it's not like they're completely out of it they just need to hunker down and keep the ball on their side of the field but anchorage doing it big on the road and they said look this is just on the road. Wait till you get back to our crib in week 14. You think we're just going to let y'all walk in there and take our stuff? It ain't happening. It's going to be returned. We're going to take it past the 20, cutting up, gets to the 26 yard line. So, Uncle Sluice trying to get. Some more touches here in this ball game is going to be first and 10 coming up. A loss by Detroit will tie up the records between Dallas and Detroit. So that opens up that three seed Anchorage inching closer to securing the number two seed in the playoffs. spot. we're going to see a catch trying to punch that one out is the number 20 Marcus Elliott. Not quite getting to the ball, but Anchorage trying to kill this game early. It's going to be second and three. Um, I believe so. Yeah, the schedule turned out to be fairly perfect. We're going to see a pitch right side and caught. There goes Swoosh down to the 45-yard line, and that's exactly what the doctor ordered. Five minutes left in the fourth. Detroit needs to turn it up. Honestly, this is, that's the, how the pass was supposed to go. If that was ahead, that could have been picked off. But we'll see action make the moves. Four and a half minutes. Looking for a man stepping back, running out of time, and just throws this one away. Passing it here again, goes left side and caught. There goes number 81, Montezuma Popoco. Inside the 45, they go. Four minutes, 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's going to be first and 10. Like I said, if they can score within the next minute or so, get the ball back. Honestly, they don't even need to go on side kick. They could just send it deep, try to get the stop, and try to do it again as we're going to see a pass here looking for a man to go in with a slant route Tyree Wells wants one he's going to shed off the stack steps up throws left side and caught going to rumble forward to the 37 yard line and it's going to be second and four it looked bad but Action Jackson Jr. makes something out of nothing
That's definitely Clipper. Gonna pass it here, looking right side of caught. There goes Swoosh. First down play inside the 30. Pitch right side again. There goes Swoosh. Push him inside the 15 to the 13. And that'll inch him closer to the two minute warning. Still in business here, but I'm thinking the onside kick will be much more needed now. Try not to call the timeouts as they're trying to get the score. But Detroit trying their best to get back into this one. Don't need a touchdown, a stop, and another one. George dropped back. Passing it again. Looking left side. It caught. Trying to get it stripped out. Cannot quite do it. Second and one. Six catches, 51 yards there for Swoosh. Passing it again, looking left side and caught, and there goes Montezuma, po -po -po. missed the popcorn. Touchdown, Detroit. And they're one score away. You got 90 seconds to find a way to get the ball back. But good news for them, they have all three timeouts. So all they need to do is try their best. Actually, they take that back. They're going to go for the two point. I forgot about that. They could easily could make it a three point ball game and potentially tie it. Looking for a man. Protection running out. And it's going to be a big sack. And there goes Harry Wells getting in the backfield. Nothing doing. So now Detroit will have to get the touchdown. Didn't look like there was anything open about the Wild seeing good defense again there by Anchorage. Looks like Detroit's going to go for the normal kickoff, which, in my opinion, is the right move, especially with all three timeouts. Three stops. Detroit has the football back, and they'll have themselves a chance. Fake of the handoff. They send a blitz, and there goes sack number three. And Damian Chambers says, I want to get my offense the football back. That's going to help him out. Loss of nine on the play. The third sack on the day there overall for Detroit. And they've all been by number 83. Have yourself a day, Damian Chambers. Second and 19 coming up. And you're going to send the man in motion and then hand the football off and go nowhere. Once again, Damian Chambers says no. Two straight plays there from 83. And one play closer to getting the football back. And they only called, what well, they call two timeouts. Yes, they did call out two timeouts. And. As of right now, they've only lost, what, like seven seconds? Honestly, could not do this any better. Third and 18, Anchorage messing up here, and they're going to hand it off and go nowhere, but a little bit backwards. So they went backwards all three plays. Well, actually, no, I take that back. They went uh, forward on that second play, like a couple yards. 
but overall that's a negative gain right there it's there by Anchorage and they're gonna have to send it back to Detroit and they're gonna have some decent field goal uh, field position to go with it as we're gonna see fire starter prodigy and potentially his last punt of the game and he sends it inside the 30 can't do that any better uncle swoosh trying to switch it up and takes it to the 46 so detroit they have one chance here they got to make the count no timeouts Detroit needs a touchdown. Watch out for number four at the top of your screen by the scoreboard and number 81 right next to him. Because we're going to see a pass. Looking for a man again. Shane Knox wants him. He almost got there, but he's going to go ahead and throw that one away. And it looked like Montezuma was open, but I don't think he had enough time to decipher where to put the pass. Because it's going to be second and ten. He wants himself a hat trick. You seen Shane Knox there making the pressure. Going to pass it again, looking for a man. Goes left side and some coverage, and that is a drop. And that was Big Sean who couldn't hang on through contact. And it's going to be third and ten. single back formation solution the slot and you got Sean McGowan there at the bottom of the screen where will he place it goes middle of the field and caught and that's going to make it fourth down and one as they got 53 seconds to find their way into the end zone didn't look like too much was open outside of that so it's going to be fourth down they need to play here and honestly they need to go sidelines if that's the case as they got a big, big bunch at the top of the screen. 38 seconds left. Going to pass it again. Will this be their last play? Going right side and going to be deflected. And I think I know who that is. X-Pac says, I don't got time for it. And Anchorage is going to pick up the W late in the fourth. And the trade pulls through for the Snow Devils. And Anchorage will pick up the W here. What a fun game. And we're going to see it again in three weeks. So we'll see if Detroit can get their get back on the road. A valiant effort for sure. Just a couple of mistakes here and there later in the second half. Um, that fumble definitely didn't help things. Because honestly, could have been a little bit different. Detroit could have been in the league if they didn't turn the ball over. You never know. So regardless of that, the game's got to keep rolling. And that is going to be the end of this one, folks. Final score will be 28 to 23 in favor of Anchorage. As we go ahead and check out the stats here, you see right there, both teams had at least one turnover. Um, third down conversion, Anchorage did lead there four for eight. There for Anchorage there, the three to eight there for Detroit. Pretty even game, honestly. My personal opinion, both teams did very well. Um, and both did enough to win but only one team can win. You already know how that goes. Um, well, the progression is going to be a little bit better because I'm going to make some bumps to the, uh, to the uh, what's the name, the uh, build. So there's going to be some big improvements all, all around. I want more players closer to like the 94s and the 95s and the 96s when they max their build out. So you're, you're going to have a little bit better um, upgrades there coming up. Uh, as we're going to see, Smoke Rivers 20 for 28, 2 for 7, well, 2 for 7, 271 passing yards, 4 touchdowns, 1 interception. Action Jackson Jr., 26 for 36, 234, 2 TDs, and no interceptions. Longest pass of the day goes to Smoke Rivers there for a 32 yarder. And, uh, oh, my boy Tyree Wells, what's happening? You had a sack earlier, so good job there. Um, as we see the rushing side of things, Samari Jones 12 for 61, Kaiju Wooden 12 for 49. Entrevis Quentin, 9 for 65 and a touchdown. A lot of good running all the way around on all sides here. Uh, Quinn James, 2 for 18. Smoke Rivers had that kneel down, and that was really about it. Looking at the longest carry, that goes to Quentin there for a 28-yarder doing his thing. 
Receiving wise, we'll start with Detroit. Sean McGowan and Uncle Swooch each having six catches apiece and 51 yards apiece. But Sean McGowan had the difference maker there with the touchdown. Um, but he also had a drop. So uh, depends on which one you want. Do you want the touchdown to drop or no drops and no touchdowns? I mean, really depends on what you want to do. Um, Tamari Jones, four for 36. Tamari Jones, four for 36. I, I don't know if I've seen this before. That's pretty crazy. I ain't going to lie to you. Uh, Montezuma Popoco. Four for 35 in a TD. Introvis Quentin, two for 25, doing his thing. And looks like the longest catch of 16 yards. You see right there, every player here had a first down catch at the very least. So good job there all the way around. Receiving wise for uh, Anchorage here. You see right there, four different receivers with a touchdown on the day. Jamar Carr, eight for 118 in a TD. Ty White, four for 71. Keith Simmons, three for 35 and one touchdown. Sean Justice, three for 30 and a touchdown. Kaiju Witten, two for 17 and a touchdown. No drops on the day, and it looks like Ty White had the longest catch of the day for the 32-yard. Um, Defense-wise, we'll talk about it here. Israel Watkins with 12 tackles. Uh, Caleb Montaigne with nine. Kaishan Williams and Demarcus Freeman with eight. Tyree Wells gets six and honestly should have a sack. I'll go ahead and put that on. Um, Mike McIver there with five. Ed Darian and next pack with four. Um, El Hippie the Goat and Anthony Spencer with three. Shane Knox and Garrett Evans gets two. And that's all the user players there. Watkins and Williams each getting a tackle for loss. Shane Knox ended the game with two sacks. Evans and Watkins get one. No INTs, but they had some opportunities there. X Pac had an opportunity. He had three pass deflections, though. Montaigne, Evans, and Williams each had. A, a pass deflection. I believe Caitlin's was a interception to be. Um, Garrett Evans forced the fumble. My bad. I thought it was El Hefe to go, but it was Garrett Evans with the fumble. It was Watkins with the recovery for five yards and no other stats to note here. On the other side, the leading tackler will be Tank Falco Jr. with eight. Mikey Jackson with seven. Damian Chambers and Reese, Reese Rockefeller with six. Jay Underwood and Justin Brown gets five. Kamikaze Von Doom gets four. Michael Rory, AJ Frost, and DeJon James get three. Calvin Thomas' style, Stern get two. And Tyler Rogowski gets one. Um, no tack. Oh, did I do that? Oh, tackles for loss. Yeah, tackles for loss. You got Justin Brown, Stern, Falco Jr., and James. Sack wise, Damian Chambers having himself a night with three sacks on the day. Justin Brown with a great interception earlier in the game on the first drive, I believe. Oh, sorry, the second drive. Is it first drive or second drive? We had a second drive because they drove down in the first one. So, yeah, good job there. Um, then in the past selections, Brown had two. Frost, Jackson, and James had one. Uh, forced fumbles, nothing like that here. And that's all the defensive stats. Let's go into special teams here. Uh, Devon Gusto missed the field goal. So that's three points off of the board. Um, and they did make two extra points. So he's going to end the game with four points. Sorry, five points. And then you have Prodigy. Uh, four for four on extra points for four points total. Uh, Prodigy three for one forty five there on the punting. Deron Gusto only had one opportunity for forty seven yards. He did get inside the twenty, so good job there. Uh, kick return wise, Swoosh three for eighty three, averaging twenty seven and a half. Keith Simmons three for seventy two, averaging twenty four. Um, punt return, Uncle Swoosh the only player there, averaging fifteen, only had one opportunity there. And on the scoring summary. Uh, Witten and McGowan trade reception touchdowns in the first quarter. Second quarter, Gusto gets the field goal. Simmons gets the touchdown there for Anchorage. And then Quentin got the touchdown right before the end of the first half. And then in the third quarter, or we want to say the second half, it looks like Anchorage won that battle 14-6 to with the Jamar Carr reception there on the left side. That was pretty crazy. And then Justice right after that in the fourth quarter getting a touchdown uh, around the midway point. Popico Got the touchdown. They missed the two-point conversion to make it a field goal game. And then at that point, actually, you want to say it right there. They missed the field goal and they missed the two-point conversion. If you want to look at it like that, that's five points off the board. You know what I'm saying? So um, that's it for that one. We're going to go ahead and turn to. We still got um, a couple of games coming on a little bit later. So make sure you watch out for that. Not later tonight, but it's going to be tomorrow. It's going to be... Pittsburgh at St. Louis, 
So make sure you watch out for that on YouTube. And then we'll go ahead and get on Twitch there for Charlotte and New Jersey. So going to be interesting to see that. And it's going to be a fun ride as always. What's up? What's up? What's up? And hope you have a blessed rest of your night, man. Thanks so much uh, for sticking with us. More things to come pretty soon. We'll go ahead and talk to you later. Ah. Uh...